Go. We are live tonight in downtown Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's Mike Jakubowski at the UW Panther Arena. I'm with Madam Fury, and tonight we're talking roller derby. The Brew City Bruisers are preparing the surface here at the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena for roller derby, and it's a very interesting setup. Uh, we saw that you were involved, uh, Madam Fury, with the setup, and it's a very precise setup that's happening here. Uh, describe for us, how do you make roller derby happen on top of an ice skating rink in the UW Panther Arena? Uh, so uh, this year, it's actually the first year that we've had to share the space with uh, the admirals. And so instead of doing like the regular concrete that's on the bottom of everything, we had to lay uh, masonite on the surface so we're not skating on the the black stuff over the ice uh, and so it's going to be interesting seeing how the wheels catch and how everything stays put but uh we have to measure out our lines for the inside line the outside line a ref lane and then lay tape over that with strings so we can tell when we go out of bounds because our skate will hit it um, so it's a very interesting process. We're so glad you're joining us live on Facebook tonight. We're live in the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena, and we're talking Brew City Bruisers, and the 2017 season is coming up. We've got uh, bouts scheduled here, and tonight uh, it's a practice session and a chance to skate. Uh, when's the last time you really had a chance to skate? Uh, well, I skate twice a week every week. I have a regular practice with my home team on Thursday, and then on Sundays we have uh, like a scrimmage with other teams within the league. Um, but I've never skated on Mesa night before, so that'll be interesting. I'm with Madam Fury, and everyone on the Brew City Bruisers and everyone in the roller uh, derby community has a real name in addition to their skating name. Introduce yourself, your real name, and, and I understand you're a student at uh, UWM. Yep. Uh, my real name's actually Maddie Callenbach, so... But uh, I chose the name Madam Fury because I'm really into science. I'm uh, majoring in psychology at UWM, and uh, so I base my name off the scientist uh, Madam Curie. So, <laughs> so it's uh, the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena, and you're studying at UW Milwaukee, and it's a very interesting community. The Bruce City Bruisers have been a part of this community for a number of years now, mm -hmm. and competing in the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena. Uh, who are the type of uh, ladies that are in this league, and and the type of friends that you've been able to make? Um, there's all types of ladies, actually. Uh, that's kind of the interesting thing about roller derby is I'm skating with a bunch of people that I probably would have never skated with before in my life or, like, associated with in my life because you've got people who are doctors, people who are in school, they work at banks, they work all over the place. And me as a student, I'm skating with people who are sometimes double or more than double my age. I'm actually one of the younger skaters on the league. And so it's really interesting how I get to be involved with all of these women who I in a way aspire to be like because I am so young and just to have that support system and almost like grow up in this community is really really special and unique so and we are very much looking forward to roller derby at the UW Panther Arena I'm a fan of sports I love all sports I love indoor sports I love outdoor sports I love summer sports winter sports for someone that uh, may not be familiar with roller derby how is it played that's a really big question, but uh, so the very basics of it, you've got uh, four blockers on each team and one jammer. Um, and so everyone lines up on what's called the jammer line. Uh, and so you've got your four blockers from each team and there's a girl with a star on her helmet and uh, that is the jammer. And so when the whistle blows, both of the jammers will hit the wall and uh, try to break through so as a blocker you're trying to help your jammer through while simultaneously blocking that other jammer from getting through and once someone breaks through that makes them lead jammer and every girl that they pass after that is then a point and so keep track uh, what is the length of time of the game well each jam is two minutes at the most and uh, the lead jammer is something special about that uh, part of the reason why you want to get lead jammers because they're the ones that can call it off and so if there is no lead jammer it'll go the full two minutes but uh, if there is she wants to call it before that other jammer is able to score points but the game itself is split up in two 30 minute halves 
It's uh, Mike Jakubowski. We're live tonight on Facebook, so glad you've joined us at the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena, home of the UWM, uh, the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena men's basketball team, home of the Milwaukee Admirals who skate here, and also uh, home for uh, the Milwaukee Wave uh, MASL Soccer Club. So you're part of an interesting sporting community, and each of those uh, sporting audiences brings a different group of people oh, to their sports. And as far as uh, the, the roller derby scene, it's a really interesting group of people. How would you describe them? Uh, it's really, really diverse, like each of the skaters. Uh, so a lot of the times, like all of their family will come and support. It's super family friendly and it's always really nice. We've got a micros league. So a bunch of the girls from that league will come and like bring their families as well. And then it's really awesome when you've got people who aren't related to the skaters who just hear about it in Milwaukee and are Milwaukee proud and will come and support their local derby team. And so really it's like anyone from like a professional le level, there's college students that'll come, there's like punk rockers that'll come, like it's all types of people that'll come and enjoy the sport. So It's a very interesting thing as we lay down the playing surface here at the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena and you actually help with this. Explain uh, each of the concentric circles and what happens uh, in each of them. All right, so each circle, we've got our main uh, circle right here, that is the inside line. And uh, anything in the middle of that, you've got typically a couple NSOs who are keeping score, who are keeping track of penalties, uh, but otherwise skaters don't typically go in there unless they're hit out of bounds and have to re-enter the track. And then the line further from that is the outside line. And uh, again, there's not too much action as far as skaters unless they get hit out, in which case uh, they have to go in behind the girl that hit them out. And uh, from here on, there's uh, the ref lane where our uh, outside pack refs will keep track of jammers, keep track of penalties. Um, so that's how it's laid out. And then if you look to those lines right in the middle there, the one closest to us is the jammer line, and that's typically where the blockers will start and jammers have to start behind that and the one above that is the pivot line and so if uh, the if the pack doesn't start on the jammer line they can go as far as the pivot line as far as where they're set up but no further than that very very interesting as we're going to have uh, live skating coming up look for live skating from the Bruce City Bruisers about 6:30 uh, local time here in Milwaukee and of course the beauty of Facebook is you can share uh, all of these uh, pictures uh, all over the world as we talk with Madam Fury right now and as we'll get a chance to watch some skating a little bit later and uh, with tonight's practice in mind and the 2000 se uh, 2017 season coming up uh, uh, who are the teams and who do we uh, look for uh, who is our defending champion and give us some history on uh, what we can look forward to in 2017. All right so I'm a part of a team called Made in Milwaukee we wear pink uh, kind of like the underdogs we've never won a championship trophy. This is actually the 11th year that Brew City Bruiser has been in the community. Um, and then we've also got the Sheville Knievels. They wear red, white, and blue. Also have never won a championship trophy. Uh, you've got your uh, Crazy Eights who wear black and yellow. And they've won it a handful of times. And our defending champs are the Russian Roulettes and they wear red and green. And they've won it the past two years, I believe. And then if I'm coming to a Bruce City Bruisers match at the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena, I understand there's a lot of fun in the stands mm -hmm. as well as out here where the work gets done. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, there's a couple of things that you can expect at halftime where they'll pick a couple of random people from the crowd. Uh, there's like these like big, almost like uh, those big wheel bike type of things that you'll have grown adults racing around the derby track during halftime, which is always a lot of fun. Uh, and typically we've got these things called cheek seats where people can actually sit right outside the ref lane and watch the action happen right next to the track, essentially. So. And then let's get into it. Let's talk roller skates. Uh, there's so much about the inline skates, but the type of skates here is a type that many people may be able to be familiar with. Describe those skates. So the skates that we use are uh, the quad skates where you've got the two wheels in the front and the two wheels in the back. And uh, every player has to wear those. Um, but like there's so many different brands. Like when I first started skating, I had no idea like that there were so many different brands of quad skates. A lot of people use like speed skate type skates, but uh, so many different brands, so many different varieties. Uh, really crazy price range, to be honest. Uh, starting out as a broke college student, that was pretty 
pretty surprising how much skates could be, but uh, pretty standard. If, you ever, if you've ever seen quad speed skates, they've got not too much support in the ankle, and they're just kind of typical. You don't have the rubber stopper, though. Oh, the, the, the toe stop? Yeah. Oh, you definitely have a toe stop. Uh, no, um, roller derby, uh, it evolves a lot every year. And uh, right now, the toe stop is a pretty important component on the skate because there's a lot of girls, especially jammers, who will stand on their toe stops and juke around other people. So. I'm remembering my days back at the roller rink, and you had those chunky uh, they, shoes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, they're a little bit smoother as far compared to like uh the ones that you'd get at the roller rink so like the toe stop at roller rinks tend to be a really hard plastic that are just terrible and you'd never actually stop on them compared to the ones that we actually use where it's more of a softer rubber uh and so there's a lot of wear and tear with them after a while but skates and skating surface and uh, cool women that are a part of this great sport. It's Mike Jakubowski live in the new UWM, uh, UW Milwaukee Panther Arena talking Bruce City Bruisers tonight. And the website is brewcitybruisers.com. That's easy enough. Yep. Madam Fury, what is the best part of roller derby in your opinion? Um, I think all the skaters that make it up, the community itself is really great because it's like uh, I've done a few mixers elsewhere. I actually just traveled to St. Louis for an event called Beat Me Halfway where there's uh, it's a whole weekend in St. Louis where you've got a lot of your elite skaters actually coaching clinics that anyone can sign up for and go to and learn from. And uh, I did a couple scrimmages there and it's really nice because once you've played roller derby once, you're friends with everyone else that plays roller derby all of a sudden and like you go somewhere and you bring it up and you make instant friends and it's fantastic and everyone's really supportive of each other and it's really nice to see such strong women especially growing up in the society that we do where it's like almost a male dominated world sometimes and it's like you've got a sport that's like created for women or created by women for women and it's just really nice to be able to have something to to go and fall back on and to see what people can do and to really just almost grow up in it. I look forward to seeing the skating and the skaters and meeting all the great personalities and you can catch it live on Facebook tonight about 6.30 we'll have the track completed and we'll have some live skating for you tonight and then we're going to look forward to January where we have our first set of matches coming up right here at the UW Milwaukee Pantherina. Madam Fury. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for watching on Facebook. It's Mike Jakubowski for the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena coming up some live skating at 6.30. For more information on the Bruce City Bruisers, visit brucecitybruisers.com. Thanks a lot for watching on Facebook. Share, 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 and good night.